Hello everyone and welcome to our Power Thinking Skills Test 25 Revision Lesson. Next one, we want to find the flaw in the argument above. So this argument, where is it? Let's highlight it. So it's actually at the end, right? The argument is that if the owners decide, did not decide to close off these areas, plants will be able to grow and flourish. This is directly contradicting the information that they provided beforehand. They said that if people were to be in the area and this off, these areas weren't closed off to people, it would hinder the growth. What does the word hinder mean? It means to stop or prevent. Then the highlighted bit says, if they did not decide to close it off, suddenly the plants will grow and flourish, which is a direct contradiction, okay? A direct opposite to what they stated before. So the answer is actually D. If the owners did not close off the areas, their plants will not grow and flourish. Like this says, the plants simply cannot grow because the people will be stomping over the plants um, without it being out of bounds. All right, six, which is the best supported conclusion? Where is the conclusion? So remember what I say, we want to try and look at the beginning or the end, okay? And in this case, the end is where the conclusion lies. Roman's recipe for concrete is also arguably better than modern concrete as it is stronger. That is the main conclusion here. Okay, they're talking about the history of, con of concrete and how the Roman's recipe for concrete is actually stronger than the modern concrete. So which is best supported or well, supporting that is actually B. Roman concrete may be one of the reasons that their structures are still standing 2,000 years later. This directly links to the fact that it is strong, okay? The fact that it has longevity, it is standing 2,000 years later, and this conclusion is, um, talking about Roman concrete, that directly links to our argument. So B is the best answer here. Right, 34, what is an underlying assumption of this passage? First of all, what is the um, argument? Remember this word, therefore. To improve the quality of teachers, we should increase the pay for teaching staff. Um, this kind of assumes that the way we can improve the quality is simply to just pay them more. Okay, so they're saying that there's um, financial incentive, financial motivation will improve the quality of teachers. Are we sure of that? Is that the only thing that matters to teachers? We don't know. That is an assumption that we are making. Okay, so that's why D is the answer. Increasing pay will achieve better teaching, whereas in real life, it might be a lot more complicated than just giving them more money. Right, 35, we know that max cycles um, 25 km per hour. We also know that Eric in three hours rides six kilometers further. So in three hours, if you write six kilometers extra, then in one hour per hour, how much extra does he run? Two kilometers, right? Every hour is gonna add an extra two kilometers. So all we're gonna do is add those two hours for from for Matt. Um, so we get 27 kilometers per hour as our answer. Okay, so Eric will run 27 kilometers average per hour for three hours. Okay, so B is your answer. All right, 36. We're gonna write this down. We have five fruity. And we have three based off desserts and two based off sodas, right? So we know that the five fruity ones are safe, okay? That um, they, we know that five of them were safe. Now, we only had seven fruit flavors all together. So if five of them were fruit, that means out of these ones, we need to select two only, okay? And only select another two. So, which one must be true? The answer is um, it's not A, right? And it's not C, 
because that's an assumption? The answer is B. At least one of the flavors that were no longer made was a dessert flavor. If we had two left, okay, let's try and increase the dessert flavors as much as possible. Let's say both of them were desserts. Okay, what's going to happen? Then one of the desserts is not going to be made. Okay, even though we tried our absolute best to include the most dessert flavors possible, if we only have two left, that means one of the desserts were disqualified. Okay, and obviously if we had the soda flavors and all of them are disqualified and so on. So this word at least is really important here. Okay, at least one um, were of the ones that weren't made was a dessert flavor and that must be true because we can only choose two. All right, nearly at the end now, 38. Um, which one represents the best flaw in the argument? Let's think about the argument first. What is the argument? So we're going to highlight it, aren't we? Um, therefore, she reasons that if she plays bad on the weekend, that will lead her eventually getting dropped from the team. So she's saying that this comes from um, her decision or her argument that if she plays polling, she will be substituted off court. And what she's done is this called this thing called slippery slope fallacy. Okay, so she's trying to think about the worst case scenario at all time. Just because she's substituted off court for playing bad in this one game, she's saying, oh no, but if this happens again, I'm going to be dropped from the team, completely eliminated from the team one day. This is not the right assumption to make because we don't have that direct correlation. Nothing is proven like that. Okay, there might be obviously a lot of extra factors that relate to someone getting kicked off the team. So the answer is A. Okay, she's assuming the worst case scenario here. All right, 39. I'm going to say straight away the answer is B. Okay, if you use statement 1 and statement 2, they will um, show you that he lives on the fourth floor because Stacy and Mark live on the third floor together and Mark lives below Tennyson. So that means that um, Tennyson must live one floor above, so fourth floor. And this third statement will tell you that he has a blue door. It just says straight away, okay? So you need both of them to prove that he lives on the fourth floor and has a blue door, okay? And last one, okay, so this one, the um, reasoning, the structure of the argument. Most people who frequently go out jogging can hike without getting tired. Because Joe frequently jogs, he should be able to go hiking without getting tired. So there's the, um, the statement paralleling um, structure is most people who do X are Y, okay, or can do Y. Since this person is X, they probably can do Y. So the most similar one is B. Most police officers in Australia carry a taser while on G. Okay, so most A have B. Since George is A, he probably will be B. Okay, very similar. But, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that and I will see you next week.